Okay, good morning. Happy December 24th, one day before Christmas. Talk about a couple things here. Uh, first of all, the buff dudes try out the carnivore diet and let's see how they fared. Uh, I want to talk about, unfortunately, a little uh, brainwash kid and why I don't eat sweet potatoes. All right, first, let's do a little quick little success story. This is from Casey Dayton, 1435. So Instagram comment, Sean Baker 967 here's what I know. I've been doing carnivore after transitioning from paleo, and I feel amazing. The arthritic symptoms in my feet are going away. Depression and anxiety are down. My IBS symptoms gone. Let's go. So another one of these typical uh, uh, success stories. Okay, behind me, and this is, I'm going to show this video. It's kind of disturbing to see. This is a little kid that's being brainwashed into a vegan diet. Kid appears to be... I don't know, four years old maybe. Anyway, let's let's, let, let's uh, take a quick look at this video here and see what she has to say. Um, ever again. Um, what do you think? So, what will you eat instead? I will eat whatever there's on the table, but not chicken or meat. Why do you think it's? Why do you think you don't want to do that? Because they're animals and they like animals. So what will you? What will we do if we miss eating chicken and meat? I don't miss eating chicken and meat. How about fish? Fish? Yeah. Fish? Is it an animal? Yeah. I won't eat that either. Oh my God! So what? I won't eat animals. Okay. So what do you want to eat? What what kind of food do you want to eat? Anything's on the table, but not animals. Why do you? I don't want to eat. Okay, I mean, to me, that's truly disturbing. I mean, you know, they're, the, the, the vegans say, oh, well, a great little global citizen this kid's going to grow up to be. Look how wonderful and caring she is, and she cares about the animals, and so on and so forth. You know, there's a reason why, you know, nutritional, organ, nutritional bodies in Germany, nutritional bodies in Switzerland, the Italian government, you know, the uh, groups in Belgium, Denmark, and so on and so forth, say that a vegan diet is not appropriate for children because... We see there are a number of studies out there that show both cognitive and developmental delays and problems with kids on vegan diets, all types. And, you know, people say, well, you can supplement out and that only maybe some of the kids do okay with that. I mean, I think ultimately you're limiting this kid's potential as a human. You know, maybe it maybe it'll show up in uh, she loses five IQ points. Maybe she won't reach her, you know, potential growth height. You know, maybe she'll have some other issues. She'll develop an eating disorder, anxiety uh, gastrointestinal problem, you, you name it, all kinds of these issues will, will likely or potentially occur and, and it's unneeded, you know, at least you can feed the kid, you know, an egg, you know, I mean, and the vegans will point out that the large, you know, that the, 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 the uh, Nutritics and Dietetic Association, Nutritionists and Dietetics Association in the U.S. and Canada said it was safe for all ages and stages, and what they'll fail to point out, and they, they do this over and over again, that every single one of the authors of that paper, all three of them are ethical Vegans, they have vegan cookbooks, vegetarian cookbooks. They are ethical vegans. They are completely biased. Many of the reviewers for that position paper were also in the same category. So this is not an unbiased statement. And I think it's harming a lot of kids, and it's very sad to see. Um, it, you know, at least feed the kid an egg. What is the justification for not feeding the kid an egg? You know, it's kind of this. Uh, you know, you can get a pasture-raised egg from a chicken down the road. It's not, you know, the, the factory farm chicken. That's very doable, and there's no, I don't, I don't understand the argument that, oh, you're, you're somehow harming an animal by eating an, you know, an egg. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. Anyway, or, or, or shellfish. My goodness, can't you give the kid shellfish? Are you try to say that some, some muscle has some sentience. The kid doesn't even know. The kid doesn't even know a fish is an animal. Oh, is a fish an animal? Oh, then I can't eat it. This is an easy eating disorder. This is brainwashing. It's very sad. Very sad to see, in my view. And, you know, of course, there are people that, that are vegans that will disagree with that. Okay, let's get on to the next topic. So the Buff Dudes, Brandon Hudson, tried the carnivore diet for 30 days. Ultimately, they gave it a thumbs down. Uh, I talked a little with Hudson on social media. He's, he now has a copy of my book, and I think if he would have had that, he would have might have had a different approach. However, I think it's fair. I'm glad they tried it. Um... 
couple caveats. So they clearly say, I'm not sick. There's nothing wrong with me. And I would say that's a fair. I mean, I don't know that people that are completely healthy need to do a carnivore diet. I don't know that there's a great advantage in that. There may be something that might want to experiment with that. Uh, but like I said, if, if, if you're comfortable where you are, why would you change? I wouldn't change. You know, the reason I do that is because personally, it's what gives me the best health, both objectively and subjectively, okay? Uh, so what the, 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 the issues that I would say is, you know, they talk about low energy. That's pretty normal during the transition period. Transition period, one to two months for most people. As an athlete, it might even be three to six months. So you're, you're, you're already kind of sitting up with a, with a time frame that's not going to... Uh, uh, get you there now. The, the digestive issues that, that one of them had with the, with the infrequent bowel movements and the change in consistency that's not unusual as well. And uh, you know, it sounds like they were eating lots and lots of eggs, so that may have been an issue for them. Uh, I don't personally eat very many eggs anymore. Occasionally, I do, but uh, uh, generally, I do better without them. Um, you know, there's people out there who say, "Well, they should have been eating liver and raw meat and all that." So, I mean, I don't think that substantially would have made any significant difference. I think it was just basically. An energy issue. I mean, they lost weight spontaneously eating to satiety, which is why it's so effective for so many people because it does seem to hit your satiation center. Now, these guys are trying to, you know, put on more muscle or be more muscular. That is not a normal human physiologic state. I know I'm the same way because I'm trying to maintain muscle. I have to eat beyond satiety often to do that. And so, if you're unwilling to eat beyond satiety and you want to put on muscle on a carnivore diet, it's not going to work because you're going to lose weight, you're going to get leaner. Now, it does not appear, at least in the picture they showed, it appeared that they got leaner and didn't look like they lost, mus 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 lost muscle mass. However, they don't really, you know, they don't divulge what happened there. They just kind of said they lost weight. I think one lost about 12, one lost about 6 pounds uh, in that deal there. And so, um, you know, I think for those guys, probably something more like, uh, you know, a meat-based diet with a little bit of, tolerated carbs, maybe something I'll like Stan Efferding's vertical diet, maybe uh, an option. I, I discussed that in the book, by, by the way, for the, for athletes. If you want to look at my, my take on that with athletes that may want to use, utilize, oh my gosh, carbohydrates. Uh, there is there is a you know potential reason why you might, might want to do that. Now, let's talk about myself. Why don't I eat sweet potatoes? You know, why am I not eating rice? Why am I doing those things? Well, look, I've done that. I've tried that. What happens to me is a net negative in, as far as digestive uh, health. Uh, I feel that I get more aches and pains when I do that. Therefore, I don't do that. I've done that experiment, and that's why I don't do it. I prefer to feel good all the time, not having uh, you know, digestive issues, not having sore, sore tendons and achy joints. And that's what happens when I include carbohydrates back in my diet. Now, you can say you don't believe it, but that's, that's my case. I'm out for maximum performance. I'm out to win the friggin' world championships and rowing coming up. I'm out to be as strong as I can. I'm out to be as healthy as I can. So I do the things that work well for me. So does that mean you have to do that? No, it doesn't. And I would encourage people to experiment with what works to them. This is not dogmatic. This is not a religion. This is not an ideology. This is what works for you. Many people, a high percentage of people find that they do best on a carnivore diet. They do very good on red meat and water. Uh, that, you know, for some people, some people, you know, they, they do okay either way. So that's what you got to do. All right, guys, you guys have a great Christmas Eve. I'll be back tomorrow on Christmas to wish you guys a happy Christmas. Um, you guys take care. Uh, join World Carnivore Month. Remember, you're gonna, you guys are going to splurge over the next couple days, eat all the junk, feel like crap probably. Perfect time to roll into Carnivore Month. Hit your 90 days at Carnivore. Eat enough, eat enough, eat enough. Enjoy your food. <laughs> Make enough variety. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a, uh, you know, come on over to World uh, to Meet Rex. It's meetrx.com. It's free. Join the community. Get on the chats. Get in the live video session with me. You can talk chat one on one with me or live with me, uh, with all of our community members that have done this. It can help you with the transition. Give you some pointers. If you need a coach, uh, that's also a nice way to get some support. Um, all right, guys. Uh, see you guys on the next video. Take care.